Hey, we're here. Welcome to the motherfucking podcast. John Dalcalo, Michael Rainey, and James so Matera, boys. a.k.a. <laughs> the Little Stinkers. What up, dog? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Dude, thanks for coming and doing this, man. What Sorry to get all man. Walter Walter Cronkite on you with my sig, dude, but it's... <laughs> no, it's a natural progression for you, brother. You know? Yeah, it's a good look. I'm, dude, I'm so happy I found these things, man. They're a little like... Uh, I was telling you guys, they're low THC. I've been trying... It's like George Washington weed. It's not just CBD. There's, It's like a... It'd be like seven or five. They might be five. It's like five, and then it's like 8% THC. They're like little... It's, George, it's my George Washington weed, man. You smoke it. You just think about the Constitution. Nothing crazy. You're like, yeah, dude, we should probably... <laughs> you get just high enough to be like, is slavery good? <laughs> like, ah, I think I'd be kind of fucked up. People are like, dude, what are you smoking, bro? Are you high? It's about time the tables have turned. Yeah, these are the anti-Newports. Yeah, I'm a, well, I'm a big proponent. Like some of the weed now is like 45%. You're like, yeah, fucking you have to like smoke rocks. it like crack. You're, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, I'm good on that. Yeah, now I'm going <clears> to <throat> be able to make eye contact with my family until Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you guys are in Austin oh, for the week. Yeah, we're living it up. Uh, mm-hmm. Gout's already flaring back up, dude. Oh, no. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, are you guys all gouted? He hasn't been yet. I am which, not. Of all of us. It, it is just, funny. It's like the online goated thing. It's like gouted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're not gouted. Dude, no. I, God's cruelest yeah. trick is that we got it and he didn't. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I, I, I kind of resent you for this. Like if, if there was a gout pool amongst the three of us. Yeah. I mean. I'm all in on Jake. Yeah. I'm sea biscuit of gout. Yeah. Well, so what, yeah. what how does, isn't gout like a lactic acid build up in your toe or something? Like, it's like, uric acid. Uric acid. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. And it crystallizes it, it, and typically goes to the lowest extremity. He had it in his ankle. I had it in my penis first because that. You had gout in your penis? Yes. Did you get any gains? Did you get gains at all? <laughs> no. So no, did it hurt all the time, or just Dude, when you got hard? No, it was nuts, man. Well, no, I didn't have it in my dick, but I uh, initially like I thought Dude, it was because I'll believe anything right away. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> initially, like I had it. Oh, you're saying the lowest part of your body? Jesus Christ, bro! Maybe I got to put the fucking George Washington weed down. <laughs> Dude, I'm a bad boy mode. We had we had fucking barbecue two days in a row, oh, man. Oh man. Oh yeah. So when the gout starts popping up. Yeah, man. It just like what do you you get a, you get a little feeling? And you go no, it's dude. Not I, happening. I mean, John jokes about like it's when God breaks your foot in the middle of the night, but it did feel like that because the day before I thought it was I was running suicides on the basketball court with my son, and it was hot as shit. So I was like, it has to be related to this. Yeah. Whereas it was related to the hoagies that I've eaten every day for the past ninety days. Ah, uh, so how many days do you have to like degout yourself? If you get good and gouted dude, up. I was uh I was gout heavy. The end of June up until about two weeks ago, it That's lasted a, crazy a while. Crazy length of time. Yeah, Is I it? had it in Disney too, which was <gasps> yeah, dude. That was my Jordan flu game going to Disney with <laughs> fucking full on gout. It's like an STD. You probably though. weren't alone, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gave it to my wife. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the Jeep wave of Disney World. Like, oh, you're yeah, like you just wiggle reason. your tootsies, <laughs> <laughs> waving from the rascal scooters. Just do you think it's an STD kind of thing? Yeah, like once you get it, you can't undo it, right? I mean, there's like not a better, but cure. Yeah. If it happens to you, it's likely to happen again. I guess it's like shingles to chicken pox. Like it's in your body. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I you got to fly straight forever. What's in your body though? Just the uric acid? The acid crystals, crystals up. The crystals? And it yeah. takes forever. <laughs> well, in some people, it goes away within a couple of days. But yeah. with other people who just continuously eat like they're fucking kids with dead parents, <laughs> it will persist, man. Yeah. The tiny gal trolls in your body. Yeah, how do you uh, how do you turn? What if you just didn't eat for two days? Would it go away? Or just... you got to you got to flush it out. Uh, I eat cherries by the pound. Um, yeah, cherries, cherries is a yeah. treatment. Cherry juice. Uh... <laughs> it's a gout awareness podcast. <laughs> yeah, I want to know. <laughs> nice. yeah. Th- thank you to all the boys in the gout <laughs> subreddit for fucking saving the day. Because as soon as I got it, like I went, I had to go to urgent care because I don't have fucking insurance. Yeah, and I went there. The lady's like, uh, I think you got gout. She's like, Yeah, just. Take uh, it was an anti-inflammatory. You take this and you'll be fine. And drink water. And I was like, all right, cool. And I just wasn't getting better. And I was getting closer and closer to Disney. So I was like, oh come on, please help me out, baby. Oh, <laughs> please, no. I need something here. 
And uh, yeah, I went on the Gout subreddit and they were more helpful than anybody else because people there were recommending all kinds of other treatments. Like there, there's a gout medication you could take, which I didn't end up taking, but I might resort to that if I get another flare up. It'll just knock it right yeah. out. You guys should try it a should. muzzle so that you stop eating so much. <laughs> Most people get it from drinking a lot. Says the fattest person. And he doesn't drink. So that must mean his fucking shitty food intake is worse than mine. Well, yeah, what's, what's a day? Run me through a day. What's a day? like? Now, I will say this because I remember you said a while back, if if every meal that you taste good... Every meal that you eat tastes good. You're going to die. <laughs> so <laughs> I do the opposite of that, dude. Yeah. Everything I ate, it, dude, I eat like every meal is a Roman orgy. Like today I treated myself, well, I treat myself every meal, but I treated myself <laughs> to a bagel with extra sharp cheese with uh, fried eggs and a little bit of leftover sausage from, from Terry Black's. It's pretty good. So yeah. that's my starter. And I'm sure we're going to get Mexican at some point today. Yeah, and then at nighttime, uh, I got these uh, Mickey Mouse goldfish crackers that I've really been snacking on. <laughs> so what's setting off the G though? Uh, I, is it I, the meat? I never got a clear answer. This. Is, is more like than the, anything in my case, like I, I live like down the street from a Primo's Hoagies, and that's one of my favorite Hoagies. And like uh, I'll eat one of those four to five times a week. And that's a lot of processed. Yeah. Meat. Jesus Christ, yeah. Primo's four times a week. I know, man. Yeah, dude. I, I mean, you know, it's I, everywhere in Delco. Everything is on the thickest bread. Yeah. Like you can't get away from it. Everything is so bad. Yeah, this is like the worst food on the planet. I think, dude. It's outside of Philadelphia. The suburbs outside of Philadelphia is has probably the most unhealthy food. Yeah, it's. If you go to California, explain to people like Friday pizza night. They're like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> they don't understand. Like, you, that's insane. A, yeah, people are like, "Would you eat pizza every Friday night?" Like that's yeah, fucking man. crazy. That's like, it's pizza night, dude. I have to. Yeah, it's custom. <laughs> Dude, when I lived in California, I lost 50 pounds and I wasn't even trying to lose weight. It was just, there was no bread. Yeah. So it was just like, you know, fucking, I'd have like peanut butter and jellies from time to time. But like, besides that, like no sandwiches, like anything we get on the East Coast. We're so spoiled. You That's know? where I gained weight. Did you really? I was following food trucks until they parked. Like I, was, I had a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I was like getting there before the guy. Yeah, the food trucks have their own like Mr. Softy theme for each one? No, I'm just listening to... The Mr. Softy theme in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling up. <laughs> you gained weight in California. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. I was, was it I, the I depression? Ride skinny. Uh, Weren't you probably. depressed? Yeah. yeah Did okay. not, like, I got a vitamin D deficiency in the sunniest <laughs> state in the fucking country. How is that possible? I never went outside. I stopped going outside unless it was, unless I saw a food truck. What did you do on my day? app? Uh, <laughs> smoked weed and then. Drove past an open mic, but was too high to get out of the car and actually sign up. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've, I've always wondered this about you because you went to California, you went to Hollywood, and uh, was there ever any time where you considered making a living as an eye pervert? Because you have the most beautiful <laughs> eyes I've ever seen in podcasting, man. Dude. No one ever approached me about it. That's not. We have a Halloween decoration, and I swear to God, it's, a, it's supposed to be a peeping Tom, like someone like looking into mm -hmm. your eyes, and I'll show it to you when I go to my house. It bears resemblance. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's got How do you have such a creepy Christmas ornament? No, no, it's Halloween. Okay. It's for Halloween. Did I say Christmas? <laughs> yeah. Probably not. I might have said Christmas. Either way, George Washington's got me fucked up. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, it, it looks, I'll show it when we go home, you'll see. It's nice. it's like. Yeah, he's crossing the Delaware. I didn't think probably. about it till, till now. I was like, holy <laughs> shit. It's, wait a second. You look like the guy who looks into my window. I'm gonna, it's just a decoration. I, every time I walk oh, by, I'm like, no. Wait, I'm going to do it when I get to your house. I'm going to look in the window. It's you might looking into it's your own house? Yeah, it's a thing <laughs> looking into your you. own house, and you walk by, and you're like, oh! You're like, fuck, that stupid Turn fucking decoration. Yeah. yeah, but you want it to look... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yes, you're right. Maybe it is. <laughs> <laughs> People are looking at the suction cup on the window as they walk by. <laughs> It's, it's just it should be for other people, shouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, your blood pressure is going to plummet now. <laughs> you turn this fucking thing around. <laughs> so, dude, you guys are here. Uh, are you studying the Rainy Street Ripper or what? What's going on? Are you? We're going to do some research on him. You're sitting next to him, brother. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's so cool that we do a true crime podcast, and it's it's not fat girl true crime. It's fun mm -hmm. true crime. Um, it it is kind of exhilarating that we go to a place where they have a ripper named after me. I know. It's like man, what an honor. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like Anthony Bourdain getting a dish named after him. Ooh, True. Yeah. Well, somebody yeah. had a theory we talked to yesterday. He said it's just people falling into the river. Is that right? Yeah, just like drunk college kids. Yeah, like, I know nothing like about Manny this Young case. style falling into the school. Yeah, but apparently there's but never been in two years. Seems like a lot of fucking drunk frat guys to fall. I think into it's the up river. to like twenty now, though. Damn. Whoa. Yeah. My only theory is maybe it was the kit. 
Maybe dudes are hitting ketamine, just being like, <laughs> I gotta find water. I'm <laughs> yeah. so thirsty. Yeah, true. They're not really I'm getting up. Drink the whole lake. <laughs> I'm gonna go paddleboard. I'm gonna paddleboard out uh. of this K hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's not the ket. There goes that theory. Well, and it's of these... a lot of it's a lot of uh, they say it's a lot of uh, gay guys. Uh -huh. Yeah, even so, though there's not been all... a few women, women who are gay men. Women can be pretty gay. Yeah, women can be pretty gay sometimes. Too. Women can be gay, man. It can be anything these days. Although that might be like the ideal afterlife is haunting a lake with a bunch of other gay dudes. True. Like, what is he wearing? Yeah, you're just... <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's coming out of the river with like a bullet in their head, right? Like it's all... Well, they just... Are they choked? Any of them? I don't know the details. Belt around the neck. Very strange. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know the deets, but I, I don't know. That's the, it, Apparently, though, the number of people who have been found in this river, if I'm correct, have... Spiked. It's not. It's usually not this much. Am I right about that, Josh? Uh, three, uh, yeah. Four bodies recovered so far. I don't think that's a lot. I thought it was like twenty people. Over like a decade. Oh, what? It's not a fucking murder. These are yeah. dumbasses. People are just running, running away with the theory. Yeah, I thought this was twenty in one year. Yeah, it's just gay dudes with bad balance. True. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> I mean, it's fucking hot as the goddamn sun here. Maybe they're just trying to cool off, and yeah. then they realize once they're uh, in too deep that they don't know how to swim. Yeah, that's classic. This was like a classic uh, way of suicide in the '30s. You would just jump in the river. If you wanted to kill yourself in the 1930s, you would just be like, ah, and just before people learn how to swim. Yeah, you just <laughs> toss yourself in the river, and you're Hitler toast. had a crush on a girl when he was a teenage boy, and that's how he wanted to commit suicide together is by jumping off a bridge into the river together. He was making like suicide. Yeah. Romance packs? Dude, he would he would chill with his boy. They would walk around and he would read poetry to his boy. And then eventually a lady caught his eye and he's like, I'm in love and I, and I can never talk to her. And then eventually he's like, uh, he's just bringing her up constantly to his buddy who wrote a book about him. And he's like, yo, I want to commit suicide with her by jumping off of a bridge into the water. Damn. Yeah. He really was an artist. He really was a romantic. <laughs> he's truly really an artist. A romantic. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy for that guy. He would have been like a regular nerd, I feel like. If Hitler was alive today, he would have just been like a normal nerd. It's crazy Jonathan, for that to just Jonathan Honey. Oh man. Come on, man. Yeah. Lemaire. <laughs> <laughs> Maga Dogali. Yeah, dude. I mean, th now this is uh, this is nothing. I mean, people bring this up to me. I'm like, dude, enough about that. There's no fucking murder. This is five, 20 this people. This has been within two years, I suppose. 20, yeah. 22, 23, 24. Although, dude, I don't know, man. Dude, that's a, it's, that's it's a crazy. great amount of people in, in two years. It's crazy that this is still open. So. But like the one guy jumped off the balcony at the Orlando airport that we talked about and they uh, closed the balconies dude. at the entire... Airport. My favorite airport and my favorite hotel, the Hyatt in the in the fucking Orlando airport. They closed it off because a couple of years ago, TSA agent finished his shift, then checked into the hotel, then jumped off the balcony onto the people waiting to to go through security. T TSA. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're a bit of an artist himself as well. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a sort of like romance to that, like but just wanting to just destroy a line as a TSA agent, being like, "Fuck these people! <laughs> I'm going to just land on five of them." Yeah, I agree with you, but I would be more on board with him if he did it at the start of a shift. Do you, like true. why would you do it when you just finished? I don't know. Do you think on the way down something caught his eye and he's like, "Ma'am, laptop out." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shoes yeah. out of the bin. <laughs> he was yelling, and he, he um, God, this is already stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot to clock out. <laughs> Splat. Yeah, I mean, no. I think it's considered he did it at the end because he, if he did it at the beginning of the shift, then they would be down. There'd be even even longer line to get through TSA. Yeah, at but, least, yeah. But I don't know. You seem a like personal, a real loser. It's yeah. like you're done, man. Go home. They yeah. would have been like, "We're having. A, we need another guy to come here and frown next to a machine." Now get over here. Yeah, I need somebody up. else to backhand kids' balls. <laughs> it's just like a Rudy Swan diving out the fucking hotel. That's got to be tantalizing, though, when you're on the ledge debating whether or not to jump into the airport uh, vestibule, and there's like a kid in a minion costume. It's like I could squish this minion. It's so <laughs> fucking hard right now, dude. Moving target. Yeah, you'd have to like angle it too. Be like, if I fall nine point eight meters per second squared. <laughs> Yeah, you'd have I'm to have a beautiful guy. mind. <laughs> <laughs> I know you fuck with velocity like that. Oh, yeah, dude. That was the only thing I remember from physics. 9.8 yeah. meters per second squared. Have I think that's the speed been, of gravity. You always been a velocity guy? It's the speed of gravity, actually. Jesus Christ. I think 9.8 meters per second squared is, yeah, it's the amount things accelerate. That's what you 
peak at if you're dropping out of a plane. Terminal yeah, velocity, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. That's velocity, right? I'm a velocity head, I guess. <laughs> was this college <laughs> physics or high school physics? High school physics. Damn, dude. Speed of gravity. Damn. Certified velociraptor. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't remember that from physics? Nine point eight. The only thing I remember squirt? from physics class, the, guy, the teacher was like, don't drive fast in the rain. You'll slip on the leaves. That's all it was. That's all. I learned that in At least that's useful. <laughs> yeah. Did your was mom your... teach physics? Yeah, it sounds like it. This guy, Mr. Uh, Hassan, fucking giant hair, man. It's pretty awesome. Dude, our physics teacher in high school was like, he would sit down on the desk, not look up during a test, and literally everybody would pass around the smartest person's tests. And we would all have the same answers and get the same grade. That's awesome. It was ruled. Who was your driver's ed teacher? Um... I forget his name, Shaw, maybe? Okay, I was hoping you had the lady I had. I, I, we were both in school in Delaware, uh -huh. so I had this lady who was like doctor. She was a doctor of education. She taught driver's ed, and she'd be Loser. like, I'm a doctor. You know, Jesus like, Christ. Yeah, oh, fucking what? Yeah, a doctor of having a <laughs> steering wheel on both sides of the fucking car. Who doesn't Excuse know how to me, let I'm someone a merge. doctor of education. I've never called, you want us, I forget her last name. She wanted us to call us doctor, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, what Get is it, bitch? Fuck out what do you have, a P-H-R-O-A-D? <laughs> <laughs> The same person who taught me driver's ed also taught my mother. Really? I can't be spelling this early in the morning. <laughs> well, I took me a minute. I laughed before I understood it. And I was like, I'm just going to give on faith. And I went, oh, yeah. Hilarious. I'm more of a visual learner, honestly. <laughs> I had, so you, you were Delaware because Delaware had that like long, drawn out permit process. Yeah, I'd the been on the road. graduated thing or whatever. I was from PA, so I was already on the road. So this ah. lady was in my face like, and I was like, Take it easy. Later. Yeah, I don't even need you, bitch. We were like driving like a married couple. I'd be like, all right, I'm good. And she'd be like, <laughs> I am not retarded. I didn't say you were. <laughs> Jesus, can I drive? <laughs> Although I'm a bit of a hawk when I'm passenger, I'm always kind of looking like, what are you? Dude, you're two hawks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you hawk him? It, dude, it's brutal. <laughs> Even the other night, we just got to fucking Austin, and it's so nice out. I'm just trying to enjoy. I'm enjoying traffic because yeah. Texas and is cool. Nobody enjoys traffic, dude, dude. He was like, "I'm vibing." We were in the right lane. <laughs> <laughs> Where people, yeah. we had four more stoplights to go through, and I'm like, you know, you can zoom past all this. He's like, "I'm vibing," and he had the biggest shit eating grin on his fucking face, <laughs> knowing that was making me boil. <laughs> Next to us, he says, vroom, vroom, oh, vroom. No. and we're going straight. It was funny, dude. It was yeah, good. he was doing But he was right. vibing, though. Yeah. Dude, uh, yeah. he's the worst driver I've ever seen in my life. Uh, well, <laughs> suck my dick while you're at it. But. <laughs> Why? What, is it? Is it just like, not? you want more aggression out of him, or do you want more? Less aggression. What? So then he vibed in traffic. Big time brake slammer. Oh. <laughs> 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 it was bound to come out at some point. Yeah. That's the way to get on Matt and Shane. <laughs> our our 5,000 patron uh, goal is going to be for him to retake driver's ed. Oh I haven't my told God. him yet until now. I, I thought we reached a break, but when we were in Chicago, um, <laughs> we went to, what's the big park there that everybody goes to? Oh, Millennium. Like the, yeah, Millennium yeah. Park. We yeah. went there and uh, I dro drove the whole weekend, by the way. But I parked in the underground parking garage. And, this is a thanks uh, you get, too. Dude, Matt, I parked next to a car. There were a ton of open spaces. I'll give him that. But I parked next to a car. The only car. Okay, time the out. only other time car. Out. That's an understatement, Mike. It was an empty parking lot. It was an empty garage. With <laughs> no, no, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, you I'll, thought I'll it was insane, this. right? Driver gets to pick the parking spot. I thought it was Driver funny. picks parking spot. My wife does that to me. I'll put in a parking I lot. So oh, oh, there's a spot here. And I'm like, I'm definitely not parking there now <laughs> that you brought that up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're, We're walking, walking a mile. A long way. <laughs> We're walking a mile now. He parked so close, close to the only other car in the parking lot that it couldn't even open my door it, all it the way. It was so <laughs> funny. <laughs> Josh, when you do the show notes, can you put down both their first names as Judas? I think it's a great bit. I thought it was a very well, funny thing. It could thing. have been like, you're just, there's another car. So you're filming. It's like you want to form the fucking block. I don't even want to try to get into his mind space. <laughs> <laughs> Did you protest parking so close to the only other car in the parking garage? Yes. Oh, yeah. What oh, was yeah. your what was your logic there? Did you say shut up? I just liked it. <laughs> like I, I liked it was the it. Spot. That was the spot. Do you know how when you pull into a a parking lot, there are spots spots that call to you? Yeah. It's like all right, this I like this. I like the car next to me. <laughs> we're gonna be able to get out, and then we're gonna be able to go to the park together. Right. I didn't think it was an issue. And the strength in numbers. If someone if there's a thief amongst the lot, that driver could come back and be like, hey, get out of this, my fellow car owner that and i was also thinking strength and numbers in in regards to a cars disney pixar cars aspect where if like there was any car beef ours could team up with the car next to <laughs> yeah. yeah we have a little alliance this is yeah. exactly the mind space i did not want to get into <laughs> <laughs> so why do you always drive why why are you the wheel man 
because they like to party. Ah, uh, and I'm, I'm a good friend. So you had a He's couple a of drunks friend. yelling at you the yeah. whole time. I never really. Yeah, I'm fine with driving before I drink. <laughs> John's vocal about it. John will be vocal about it. And I'll be quiet, and then I'll get alone with John. Be like, I know, right? That was for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucker, man. What? It I appreciate you so own. much, dude. It's it, yeah. great. Yeah, I bet you do. Sounds like it. <laughs> the own kin, man. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked. Thank you, John. You're nice and relaxed. <laughs> yeah, I'm vibing, man. <laughs> Pulling into traffic and vibing is a sweet move. It was so nice. It's it was the only time we faced traffic when we were here, but still, it wasn't bad. It's just yeah. we're on the bridge, the sun setting. It's, yeah, it was. Be- it, we were talking about the skyline being how beautiful it is here in Austin. The it's, bats were under us. Yeah. <sighs> yep. Anyway. Yeah, it was a good place to be in traffic, but still, no one was good to place be. to vibe. Yeah, yeah. true. Tra- traffic is everyone's number one enemy. Yeah, my my wife does that. To, she'll do that to me though. Where she's like, "Um, you can pass this car," and I'm like, "I know. I've totally been zoning out for 20 minutes." I'm like, "I know I can. All right, don't worry about what I'm yeah. doing. You just sit there. And like, I'll I'll seriously wait three minutes and be like, yeah, I'm gonna move over here now. <laughs> I, so it is, it's my this is my deficiency when I'm like told what to do like that. I, yeah, I like just Same. fucking freak. Yeah, yep. go in the opposite. And that's way. that's what the case was when I said you, we yeah. could not be in traffic. That just made you smile and be like, we're going to be in traffic even more now. <laughs> yes. yeah. I hope this traffic never fucking ends. I hope we fucking die in this car, man. <laughs> I'm the boss. I am sorry, but I will not stop. Uh, that could I, be. I'm a bad backseat driver. Oh, it's you're a, right? it's a you weren't in the backseat. It's well, the same term. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's something in me that I would like to fix. You're a bad friend. It <laughs> <laughs> has nothing to do with backseat driving. Those dudes I in the lake could just be associates. just getting a. Uh, Maybe their their babes are chirping while they're driving. And they're like, oh, oh, oh yeah. And the Michael yeah. Douglas Tuck falling down. They just fall right in the river. <laughs> Cannonballing him. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Trying to land on like a rock. You don't know how to swim. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're drowning in the lake and your wife's like, babe, can I get the keys? Babe, babe, babe. <laughs> oh, fuck. I forgot to give them to her. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> that sucks when you fuck something up. That, I do not like when I do that. If I like fuck, like if I I'll, like leave the garage door open. I do it all the time. Mm-hmm. And I'll try to be like, dude, I like, I kind of like, like just having like my garage door open. Yeah. It's kind of chill. I just yeah. forget. Yeah. It's like, dude, someone could take in and take any stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but it's like kind of chill to have that thing open like that. It cools the garage down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get filled with dread. As soon as I get something pointed out that I did that's like wrong, I'm like, oh, fuck. And I spaz. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I hate it. I, I get that way. Door open. I'm like the fucking garage door malfunctions. Sometimes you hit it, it comes back up. <laughs> Dude, nothing it does, makes me more that. aggravated than than somebody being confidently wrong. My wife is the most confidently wrong person I've ever met, and I feel like you do that when you backseat drive, when you passenger seat drive. I'm confidently wrong, right? Because I mean, all we have to do. We're here for seven days. There's no rush to get anywhere, <laughs> and I just oh, on top of Chicago too. It's just like there, every every parking space is an open canvas. Why not this one? <laughs> an open canvas. I think most people would agree that being still in a car when the car is not moving is the worst. You're on vacation, man. It's yeah. And straight. you just had a bunch of beers. Don't tell the IRS yeah. that. I'm writing everything off. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a working vacation. <laughs> You're scouting locations. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Stay, staying still in traffic is the worst. Like, I'll drive 10 miles out of That's the way. That's an internal yeah. issue. You guys have an internal. I mean, I hate traffic too, but yeah. what's the fuss? I think Thank he's perfect. He's, per- he's trying to raise my blood blood pressure. He's trying to kill me. He's trying to flare my gout back up. I'll give you some of my blood pressure medicine to bring it back down. <laughs> it's, it is such a funny thing though to be like, you're sitting there, you see someone else move, and you just blood pressure is like, <gasps> I need to be moving. I need to be fucking. I have the same yeah. way. I spaz if I'm sitting there. Yeah. Can't stop. But man. if I'm driving and I'm not paying attention, and someone calls it out. I'm like, bro, you need to chill, mm-hmm. dude. Taking the fucking vibes in the scene. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's a well played move. Yeah, I mean, it's I'm much vibing. different if I had my wife and kids with me. And at that point, you know, the end of a vacation day with your family, you're you're full on, you know, yeah, Thomas Crooks mode. <laughs> You know, but with John and Jake, my buddies, I'm just like, look, We're I don't care what yet. happens. We're having fun. Yeah. We're that is the only time I have said anything this trip. And that you, was day one. I'm sorry. And you've been <laughs> you've been good. You've been way better. No. I swear to God, you are doing way better than I expected. All right. Well, you're talking about jamming brakes and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He's. Where's the break? Jamming coming from? Dude, I'm vibing and I'm jamming, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you space yeah, out when you drive? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, so so do I. Dude, I'm having fun, man. His license plate is Margaritaville. <laughs> Dude, my brain's a Margaritaville, brother. Yeah, I'm I'm not. I space so hard while I drive. I'm like, this is your exit. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm like four lanes over. Like, <laughs> I don't think I concentrate oh. on anything 
more than I concentrate on driving. Yeah, I wish I I'm did. I'm tracking. Yeah. I'm seeing the moves. I'm playing chess the entire time. I know where that car's going to go. You're playing Connect Four. Yeah, you are not same. that good of a driver. I'm, I'm <laughs> the same way. I'm very aggressive, though, too. It's he like is. the only place I'm mean. But really? that's crazy. On you're the road. You, yeah, if you're four lanes over, you're doing the Jermaine Dupree to get off the fucking exit. Yep. I'll be like, you're switching four lanes? <laughs> yeah. I, oh, say that, yeah. I sing that in my head every time I switch four lanes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want to admit that I'm not paying. Because my wife's like, you don't pay attention. I'm like, yeah, I do. You're just fucking, you overpay attention. And then I'll like, <laughs> <laughs> you overpay attention? I'm like, you're just fucking being weird about it. Classic <laughs> wife argument. Yeah. You overpay attention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'll just be like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Dude, I'm, yeah. I'm the worst. With my wife in the car when she's driving, oh, we'll, we'll, bro. <laughs> we'll be turning. We'll be. She'll have the turn signal on to turn down our street. I'll be. You want to make a left here? <laughs> like it's so bad. Yeah. How controlling I am. But wife driving is much different, like, dude. We, there are many times fact, where you have to save them from themselves. <laughs> Dude, and you catch sometimes you catch him red handed when it'll be like there's just a car five feet and you're like yo and they're like ah <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god I didn't even see, what the hell is it doing it's like it was stopped you mm -hmm. were fucking. Have you ever been in the car when, like, the uh, the woman will do, well, like, your wife will do the uh, thing where they don't let people merge in, like, at an intersection? Uh, when like they're you're stuck at a long stop stoplight. And they're like, no. And there's a one cross street. And they're, like, they're, clearly they're waiting. They're being polite. And they're starting to inch out a little bit. They're not aggressive about it. Yeah, yeah. But then you just see them just kind of, like, roll forward and not let them in. And you're stuck there at the passenger seat, like... I'm sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah I've, I've definitely probably been involved in one of those. Like, yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Let him in. Yeah, every lady's car should come equipped with like a driving wheel stick that you can control from the passenger seat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a second stick to control the gas. Like and a driver's head stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I told her I want to get a brake on the passenger side, dude. <laughs> Just because I don't know what it is. She accelerates. So see brake lights. She's like, I'm not accelerating. I'm just not braking. I'm like, I can feel my body moving <laughs> faster than it was. You're a velocity guy. You know a, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, we're speeding up. No, we're not. And it's like, dude. <sighs> God. Yeah, that's a tough one. The ladies driving, man, is it's a tough one. Dude, I, I think whoever is fine. Who was the Will Smith doctor who studied CTE? Um, I forget. Will Smith name. should also study lady brains when they're dead and done driving. <laughs> You got a good like, driver on yeah. your hands? Yeah. Well, yeah, you've been probably yeah. abusing She's, her into shape the whole time. Like, yeah, what the yeah. fuck are you doing, motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> yeah. And jamming. <laughs> jamming and jamming. and jamming. No, I will still yeah. give, you know, pointers mm. to my lady every once in a while. Oh, yeah. But yeah. Tips and tricks. Yeah. That's maybe <laughs> 1% of the time these days. It's not bad. Drastically yeah. lowered. Yeah. Because I've. I've experienced the worst. In the <laughs> <laughs> and once you, once you experience the worst, you know, it ain't so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I've cooled out. I used to be an aggressive driver. Now I'm, I'm, I'm very chill. Everyone on the road is on my team. We're all trying to get to the same place. Yeah. Not racing. What do you? But I can rage. I, I've ra I raged not too long ago. What are you doing in the Ooh. left lane? Over 80 or around 80? It is what it is, bro. I'm not. <laughs> I drive to Jersey for a long time, and Jersey's Jersey heads are so spazzed out about PA plates not going yeah. fast enough in the left lane that I've been like, "Fuck off, guys." So I, I actually I had like a beef with the whole state of New Jersey there for a while while I lived there, and it was just kind of like, "Yeah, I don't care. Fucking pass me if you want to pass me." Uh -huh. I don't go that slow. I'm not gonna go like fifty. Right. But if someone high beams me, I'm like, "Well, now we're all going very slow for a very long time." Yeah, that happened to me. I'll give a uh, gentle. Yeah. Double flip. On the high beams every once in a while. If it's, I get it. But if, if there's lane. space for me to just go around, I'd do that. I'm out, yeah. Somebody did that the other day, and I was close to the car in front of me, and that car was close to the car in front of them, and a guy's nonstop, like, over and uh, over, yeah. on my ass. Yeah. And now I'm like, this is war. Yeah, now and I'm I try to on. box a man with a fucking truck. <laughs> so I <laughs> try to murder him and his family. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Follow him to his house. <laughs> yeah, I've chill. I, my road rage was for real, like, really bad. Like, yeah. I used to get, like, <clears throat> like, the worst I've ever had was one time a guy did something. He was just wasn't paying attention. We're on like 95, so we're all moving pretty fast. So everything's kind of heightened. And he like came into my lane, and I was wronged. And I was like, how dare you? So I like sped up to just, you know, get get what was mine. So I wanted eye contact and mm -hmm. like maybe a little apology. So I pulled maybe along. Maybe a little handgun in your mouth. Yeah, true. Your own head off. <laughs> One your wife said. <laughs> I pulled up on him to get like visual confirmation. I'm like, bro, what the fuck was mm -hmm. that? And he gave me like, whatever. I was like, all right, fair enough. And I started to slowly, because he was like, it was my lane. It was a two-lane kind of thing. Or maybe I was in the middle. He was in, like, the right lane. 
So I started like, and there was just not a lot of like shoulder next to him. Mm -hmm. So I started just matching his speed and slowly getting in his lane. It mm -hmm. wasn't until he was like, oh, and I was like <laughs> satisfied. <laughs> it was psycho. It was real psychotic. You're mad mad. Yeah. I'm mad mad at him, dude. It, it was, this was years and years and years ago. And I was like, I remember pulling away being like, I think he had a kid in the car. I was like, that was pretty bad. <laughs> was pretty oh, bad. man. Now, how forgiving would Teenager. you be? Yeah, yeah. How forgiving yeah. are you if somebody does that shit, but when you pull up to make eye contact, they're like, totally. Yeah. And when I wrong people on the road and they pull up, I go, dude, that was totally my bad. Same, I yeah. fucked up. I go, that was my bad. I fucked up. I hang my asshole out the window. <laughs> the like, take Sir, it. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Token of appreciation. <laughs> I don't flash bird anymore. I don't give anybody the finger. No. If I'm <laughs> angry at somebody. <laughs> I, for a second, I was like, all right, fuck. I didn't know you were ripping like that. I'm sorry. I'm having a stroke. Where's my booster seat? <laughs> it's just too small to Sit on a hemorrhoid pillow. And just get a Dick out the window. Dude, that one is one of the worst parts about having a little dick is you can't fucking wiggle it at him in traffic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Depends Although, on the weather. If you hit him with a penis, I'd be like, that's aggressive. Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Right. Dude, you got your wife holding the wheel. <laughs> the back Showing seat. your penis out of rage is yeah. actually way more. If I was like, fuck, Jesus Christ. <laughs> just having a little grape pop out of the sunroof. Just <laughs> <laughs> I will now, uh, if somebody is driving like a dickhead and they're passing me, and we've been engaged in mm -hmm. a little bit of back and forth anger. Yeah. I will either, I'll give him like a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Ooh. That's yeah. good. Either That's one good. is. Thumbs yeah. down would devastate me. Yes. <laughs> it's way more hurtful than a finger. And a thumbs up, the sarcastic. Yeah. Uh, nice one, brother. <laughs> yeah. like, you're doing so good on the road. <laughs> now, dude, if you had a road rage incident where it was clear, it was popping off, you both pulled over. When you got out of the car, would you let your ponytail out? Uh, yeah, I would take all my jewelry off. No, I would I would spear the person immediately. You tie it up, start. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, my dad's convinced that like dudes with ponytails are like badasses because in the seventies he's like, yo, I'm that guy's got a ponytail, I'll stab you. Yeah, I don't think I have that kind of ponytail well, then, vibe. Yeah, no, no one has it anymore. Ponytails, I think yeah. karate appropriate. Yeah, they the used ponytail. to be karate based. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. No, yeah. I think karate was the start of those guys, and it's like at that time they did have some cachet. Whereas now it's you got a bunch of these running around <laughs> <laughs> and bikers. I feel like bikers and karate bikers, guys. It was yeah. that was probably bikers that ponytail. Yeah. Like yeah, it's pulled back, and they have a fucking knife in their belt for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. They will stab you. Do yeah. you carry a weapon? No, I'm not anymore. You got oh. that weapons charge up in New York. Yeah. Ever since then, I've been very weary of mm -hmm. having a knife on me. Yeah. What they hit you with? Was that a misdemeanor? Class five misdemeanor, something like that. For having that thing, on, having the yeah, hawk yeah, on. Yeah, having the damn Man. fucking, the chopper, letting the chopper sing. <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> Dude, I had a very pipe for up. a while. A pipe? I had a pipe in my car. I never oh. used it. I just like, I, a friend gave it to me and they said it as a joke. I was like, yeah, you know what? I will fucking hang on to this. Do you ever just grip it every now and again while you're driving? Oh, oh man. Yeah. That's a nice feeling. One time on Chestnut, I, like me and this guy, we were going into the city and this dude cut me off. I did the same thing. I pull up the side dome, kind of give him a look. And I was behind a cop. And he, That's perfect. He, I put my window down because I'm like, this guy's such a piece of shit. I'm going to say something to him. And he's like, yeah, you're not going to say something because the cop's there. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck? And then I just start saying something. I just like, we just start fucking yapping at each other. And then about five minutes later, we're still going down Chestnut towards Center City, uh, like from like West, West Philly. Mm -hmm. And uh, I see him pull up next to the cop. And then he kind of runs through the light. And two seconds later, the cop pull, <gasps> turns on the siren and oh, I'm like, got his ass. Oh, that's awesome. Instead, the cop got me. Oh, <laughs> And I what? see his ass stop about 60 feet ahead of me, mm -hmm. breaked in the middle of the street, watching me get pulled over. <sighs> and the cop walks up. He's like... Did you flash a gun at that guy? What? I'm like, what? No. I don't oh, have a gun. pulled over red light and <laughs> yeah, he snitched he on you? Yeah, he said to the cop that I had a gun in my car. So he was running from you is what his excuse <laughs> yes, was. Yes, yes. Genius. So I'm fucking, fucking, he evil pulls genius. me over and I'm like, no, dude, I don't have a gun. I, I was like, you can search my car. And right, I wasn't we found even thinking, 13 Hot Pocket rappers, but no gun. <laughs> this is like when I was doing it. <laughs> He's more like, God damn, dude. How have you been operating a microwave in this vehicle? <laughs> yeah. how, how do you have it connected to the, the smoke charger? The fucking, yeah. It's like he hollowed out the glove box and it's just a fucking microwave. It was a yeah. DeLorean, but it was just microwaves. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So dude, wait, he told you he had a gun? He told him I had a gun and I was so pissed off. <gasps> and I told the Check, cop he could search my car. And as soon as I did, I realized I was like doing, I was on my way to a, a sketch rehearsal at like that 
thing across the street. I had a fake gun in my ah. back seat. Ah. I did. I swear to God, I didn't no. flash it. But I was like, yeah, you can search my car. And then I was like, oh my God. And the guy was just like, fuck. Man, all right. And then he just let me go. Oh, he didn't go through. Yeah, thank uh, God. Did he go to try to get the other guy for lying about... No, I think he just like knew that it was just some dumb dispute between two young uh -huh. idiots and just like... <laughs> Dude, what if on. you looked through all your improv shit and you saw like a man-sized baby bonnet? <laughs> 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 just a big spanking paddle. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that must have been scary. How was it like an orange cap gun or did it look kind of real? Uh, I think it was an orange cap, but we took it off because of the fucking show. So oh, we like, yeah. Oh, man. Damn. You yeah. scratched it off the cereal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fake made in China. Yeah. It shoots Pez. <laughs> that almost look. became the best possible revenge prank that a guy has ever pulled. You oh actually God. had a fucking fake gun in the yeah, car? Yeah, I actually had a fake handgun in the car. Yeah, insane. And you didn't wave that thing at him? No, I swear That'd to God, God I so didn't wave. so like, I'll murder you, motherfucker. I had, dude, I had the pipe down here. I was ready to go with the pipe if that fucking came to be. But... Was the gun in your trunk or was it in the back no, seat? No, it was just sitting in the back seat. <laughs> yeah. On like a pile <laughs> like... of clothes. It was like a Walmart bag with a bunch of shit just stuffed in it because I was like running late to Bro. the fucking thing. You would If he saw that gun, you would have gotten like oh, yeah. aggravated. Even if you wave a fake gun, I think you get in trouble. Oh, yeah. I think it's a uh, felony, right? When it's in a car. Fake gun. Now, to this point, uh, Jake recently got shot by a bunch of teenagers with a uh, <laughs> with an airsoft gun. Yes, I what? did. What? Could yeah. they have been also charged with aggravated assault? Yeah, they get charged. I if you hit so, someone yeah. with a BB gun, you get was airsoft or BB? Was it BB? I or think like, it was airsoft. Like because little, it didn't hurt. Yeah. Why did you get, why are they shooting? I was leaving an Italian comedy night. Uh, in the middle of fucking Delaware. It's like, kill me, right? <laughs> They asked him to sit in the front seat. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like walking back and I could, you know, you just feel the group of kids in the car pull up and I'm yeah. like, something's happening here. Oh, no, dude. And then I hear, and I'm, I just feel a little like smacking on my head. They kind of sting. If, they, if you're close enough, yeah. those things kind of sting. I had to like walk and act like it didn't hurt. I was like, oh, I don't notice anything. <laughs> Get around the corner and they fucking pull off. I'm like, why would they do that to me? Right? <laughs> oh, that's scary. And they're at the fence. You are the person to shoot with. An I'm the <laughs> biggest target. Yes, I'm like beginner level for that shit. They fired that many shots. Yeah, probably. Over you can 15. get automatic ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, they make the AK them. now. You can get the airsoft AK and just be like, Brrr. Jesus Christ. Would I was you... walking in front of a storefront, so I was like, I was hearing it hit the glass a bunch too. Like, uh huh. Yeah. Jake, would you think about getting a tattoo on the places where you were shot? Like Tupac? I, I'll do it, yeah. Get a little tear back. Did it uh, actually it, hurt, or did it just no, kind of sting? No, it, 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 it didn't even sting. It was just, just upsetting? Yeah. More like a flick, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just fuck? like, come on, guys. <laughs> yeah, don't <laughs> shoot me. Now, would you rather be airsoft shot or get hit with eggs from a bunch of kids? Airsoft oh. shot. Yeah. yeah. Dude, yeah, I told you that. That happened to me, too. You hit with eggs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Same thing. In, it wasn't in Delaware, was it? It was in, uh, it was in Delco. I was at okay. an open mic. Then it wasn't me. Standing on the corner talking to a comic. You know, it wasn't you. And uh, the car, a car of teenagers drives by and like, they're probably from like me to Josh away. And I hear them stop the car at the intersection and go, do it, do it, do it. And I, like, we look and they just start throwing eggs, like probably a, uh, six eggs at us. And they, it's like that scene in Pulp Fiction. They missed every time <laughs> and they hit this the business behind us. I was like, how do you miss? But yeah. Have you and, ever thrown eggs at anybody? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's That's the, fun. I mean, you got to get to humans at some point. You start with houses, then mm -hmm. moving cars, mm -hmm. and then it's like the most dangerous game, baby. I'm yeah. making humans now. I got to hit a human. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The saddest people walking on bridges. Like, <laughs> <laughs> their life could not be anywhere. Standing I've on the ledge my, of the bridge. <laughs> I've gotten my car in my back multiple times. What'd you hit oh, with yeah. eggs? I got hit with like every kind of fucking milkshake in Newark, <laughs> Delaware. Oh, I'd be riding my. <laughs> Skateboard to work, get hit with the motion, bro. And people yeah. are just out of a truck throwing giant cups of red fucking liquid at me, hitting me, hitting me with the f word on the way out. So like, I got it so many times, yeah. like three times. That's on the a lot. Same street. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. You think while you're walking, having those kind of experiences, you'd have more appreciation for somebody driving you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really would. <laughs> True, man. You'd yeah. be, be getting pegged with fucking Slurpees and shit. I'll tell you, nobody's fucking e egging either one of these dickheads when I'm driving. So. <laughs> I don't know. Shot, egged. Yeah. 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 yeah I've, uh, we, we egged people one time, and like this is when I learned we're too old for it because we like egged these guys, and then they like chased us and found us. We're the same. We're all like 20, and we're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, did you throw eggs at us? And we're like, no. 
It was like, I think they were honestly a year younger than us because they like came up on us and we were like, what the fuck out of here, we'll beat your ass. And I was like, like we're right. 20, we don't do that. Because we were just young enough, we couldn't go to the bars. So we were just egging people. We were like, maybe they were a little bit older than us. They maybe they're 21 because they like came out of the bar and we were just like, pop, 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 pop. And ran away and they came up. They're like, do you still some fucking eggs? Do but you, one friend had an egg in his pocket. Like, What's that from? My friend was like, get the fuck out of here. I'll yeah. kick your ass. I was making an omelet earlier. This is my lucky <laughs> egg. He's like, I was just bringing this around. They were like, and then they just realized, like, damn, there's like five of these fucking morons here. There's two of us. Like, beat us up. And you were on foot. You weren't even in a car. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> we pegged the New Jersey trolley or the Ocean City trolley one time. I've talked about this before, but it was the funniest thing ever, man. We had my cousin ride it. So we had an inside man. And then when it stopped, <laughs> we were like, tell us what happens. And we just got in and it was like tomatoes, eggs, all kinds of just fr like food. Bomb this trolley with all kinds of food. My cousin said it was like the craziest shit. Just watching people like, ah. Now, how was he communicating? Did he have a wire? <laughs> no, no. We just knew the route. We knew oh, it, came, okay, it okay. came by every so many minutes. So he mm -hmm. caught it like a few blocks up, wrote it. And then when we, uh, he got off, like, come on. He tried to get some guys together, like, come chase us. He's like, come on, let's go get those guys. And they, at the last second, he said they kind of were like, uh It's just old black ladies with their groceries. <laughs> <laughs> was it on the boardwalk? Chasing no damn No, it was bike. on, like, the Ocean Drive. So it wasn't on okay. the boardwalk. It was, like, this little trolley that would take people, like, down to the boardwalk and back. You had an escape route. and, and We ran right to the beach. Was witnesses. he hit yeah. at all? No, he didn't get hit. Okay. He I, said we caught, there was one guy, we all ended up aiming, because we were like, what did you hit, what did you hit? Wow, wow. Like, you all, sorry, I shouldn't have said his name, my cousin, <laughs> please my cousin's name out of that, <laughs> my cousin's name out of that time stamp. Uh, he was like, you guys all, apparently, we aimed for the same dude. This guy was like all decked out, and he was dressed, he had like double oh, earrings on, he was like, man. this is one of those guys, like, he was like, way, way too into his outfit, <laughs> we fucking nailed him. Everyone, everyone like, either hit him or came close to him, it was apparent that we all like, that guy, and everyone just threw their shit at this yeah. one guy. Oh, we hate God. that guy the most. <laughs> yeah. Wes. Yeah, you guys fucking lit that one guy up and the rest of the shit just like hit the sides and sorry, <laughs> your, your boy, his name. I think I said his name again. <laughs> believe it out. <laughs> your boy had to take one. Like it was I don't think he got touched. Although well, only one guy got it. But if everybody except yeah. your boy had gotten it, he gets it, on the yeah. trolley and like one stop in he puts on a poncho. <laughs> <laughs> Checks a watch. Yeah. I'm a big Gallagher fan. <laughs> yeah, it's it would be. I mean, now it's like I would never. That'd be crazy if you're like trying to like do something. If I was just like bopping around during the day, like all right, I gotta do this. Fuck it, and I, an egg just hit me across the side. <laughs> of the head. Well, I would lose my mind. <laughs> Matt, are you familiar with Brian Pumper, adult star? Yes, yes, I am. He got egged recently. I heard, man. Yeah, dude, there's a podcast. Uh, it's on the Adam or whatever No Jumper podcast. He interviews Nat Turner. Which is Brian Pumper's, I guess, like a word. <laughs> it's the funniest name. But he talks about Pumper, and Pumper was like a disgraced porn star. Who Dire egged him? Director of the Three Fists Compromise. <laughs> did really Matt Turner. Make, did he really make No. no. <laughs> oh, sorry. But was, I'm not convinced. I thought you saying Brian Pumper made the Three Fists. No. <laughs> but I'm not convinced that Brian Pumper uh, wasn't setting it up for views. Yeah. Do you think it, he got egged for views? Uh, I I think he's been doing it to people, and then they caught him. So this might have uh, reignited people's attention on his channel. He's been egging people online. Yes. Do you know why he got kicked off of uh like out of the porn industry or kicked out of the porn industry? No. He was prowling the subways, I believe, in New York City, and he would just like press up on not like. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess he'd press up on ladies, and be like, "Yo," he would. I guess he'd find ladies are kind of hard up and be like, "I'm gonna give you some cash. I'm gonna film. We're gonna. I'm gonna fuck you on camera," and he was. Saying he was testing, he was like just sending in content, being like, "Yeah, I, I test, like we we're tested, we we're with porn stars." And he was just like fucking ladies raw, off the rip, and and then he'd go do regular porno shoots, yeah. and they were just like, "Bro, you're out." He got he just got like blacklisted forever. They're very serious about testing and pornography. I learned from the Nat Turner interview. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lady I went to Exotica this year with Shaner, and there was a lady. Um, oh, what the fuck is her name? She's the uh, gangbang queen. I don't know if you're familiar with her. That's her legal name. Yes. Yeah. What's her um, stage name? I can't think of her name, but she's got that condition where your uh, your ass, your skin, in her case, it's her asshole and pussy, are completely white. Is it Impetego? Something like that, yeah. Something like that. But she was like offering fans to gangbang her if they had proper testing. She's an albino. <laughs> At the exotic... <laughs> Yeah, at Exotica. But they are, listen. You could have fucked a porn star that day. Anybody could have if they went and got tested. If you had the proper testing that you required. And it didn't matter what you wow. looked no. like. She wasn't being picky. Dude, she was. She when was, did she come back? 
<laughs> uh, probably November. You enter your All name right. on a wheel and you just spin it. My thing with testing, what if your test is from like three days ago and then you just like had like gay sex under a bridge? The homeless guy. <laughs> the day before. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that are fudging results too. Yeah. Like what if you got a, a horny guy that's just really good at Photoshop? That's true. Yeah, I feel like that testing has to be on site for it to be trustworthy. Oh, like it's she on needs site. a little doctor. Yeah. A little she, doctor fella next to her. She was also making sure that guys weren't crossing their fingers behind their backs. True. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm reading a book right now. It's a, it's a, so I'm, I'm on a big autobiography kick. And this one is the autobiography of a guy in, like, I think, like the 80s in New York City. It's called Electro Boy. But it's about a guy who just has uh, bipolar, like manic depressive, but he was more so just manic. And it was, he's telling his story when he was in New York City in the 80s. Yeah, he had some money. He's like working for like this art house. And he just, he couldn't say no to anything. Like anything he came across, he'd be like, yeah, everything was totally impulsive. Huh. And it's just a story of him just like completely pigging on every single vice imaginable. It's the funniest fucking, dude, it's, he'll just like be sitting there. He can never sleep either. He just lays there awake all night. And he's like, fine, I'll get hookers. And then he just like walks down. <laughs> <laughs> and twist my arm. <laughs> and then he'll like just look at stuff. And he says, in the time he was younger, He's just attracted. He's just, he says he's omnisexual. He goes, dude, I would like see my own reflection in the mirror and be like, fuck, nice. <laughs> and he, he would see like a strong guy and be like, dude, that guy would fuck the shit out of my girl. He is just like, he is just the horniest guy possible. Who he's just always on a manic fucking rush. And then like he would call escorts and they'd be like couples. So sometimes he would just go there and like he was like, there's like escorts where you just watch a dude just like bang his wife. And like he would like suck her nipples later. Like he was like explaining all this stuff. And then, and then he, I think he'd probably bang her too. <laughs> then he's like, I went, I, I think if I'm remembering it correctly, he like, someone said like it was another couples thing. He gets there, it's just a dude. He's like, you want to smoke crack with me and jerk off? And he's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> dude, just wouldn't say no to anything. It was insane. The yeah, story this is, is the Jim Carrey movie, Yes Man. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Way hornier. <laughs> I saw that movie in Costa Rica and it was called Si Senor. <laughs> Was it really? yeah. <laughs> si, senor. Do you want to jerk off of me and smoke crack? Si, senor. <laughs> well, the story is insane. He ends up getting involved in art forgery for the same reason. The lady's like, we should start forging this guy's artwork. And he's like, yeah, definitely. And he just, they, <laughs> he just does it. He's like, oh, what did I do? Fuck. I'm almost out of the book. But it's, yeah, it's pretty, it's fun to read. He yeah, a, I'm it's, not gonna, that's not going to be the first book I've read in the last 10 years, <laughs> yeah. for sure. I get it. Look, it's, it's pretty gritty. There's a lot of details in there that I can see people being like, ugh. Mm -hmm. It's like I was reading yeah. alone in a hotel room, like, God damn, bro. She becomes a male stripper out of nowhere. Do you do you ever, ever have an inkling that a bad boy phase is about to come out of you? I had a bad boy phase. My bad boy phase. I mean, it's like, it's gone, but hopefully it's, you know, it's always there. But uh, no, I fight it, man. A bad boy phase would just destroy my family right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my yeah, if you frosted your chips and got an earring, family's done, dude. He's pissing on the toilet seat. <laughs> Told myself I would never smoke crack and jerk off with a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, is that a puka shell necklace? <laughs> <sighs> Tuck it in. <sighs> no, I'm a, I keep it pretty, uh, it's one of the greatest struggles of my life of like, like how much of your, you know, sensory uh, enjoyment do you sacrifice versus how much do you indulge in? There's, there has to be a fine line. Mm -hmm. So if you repress yourself too hard, you'll just explode. I almost lost how my family over it. Yeah. Of your sensory <laughs> impulses. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, dude, it's totally understandable though. I, now that I have a family and kids, I'm like, if I hear people like do some crazy wild shit and like, lose their family, I'm like, you made it there for a long time. That's impressive. <laughs> yeah, you hung in there. <laughs> it's, it's pretty hard not to do. It's a daily struggle not to be a disgusting, perverted creep and lose your family. Yeah. Dude, the, the first time I did crack, I went. To, I, I flew out to Denver to watch the Eagles play them, and I had a massive crack hangover at the game. I'm in the top deck. I'm just people are talking shit. The Eagles are losing by four touchdowns. <sighs> And most of the game, I'm just like, I'm the biggest loser on the planet. But then I'm just like, I'm kind of the man, too. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Just because you did the crack? Is the yeah, bad boy I, I do my thing. Like, I think, I, I don't know. I might be oppositionally defiant. Yeah. Like, if my wife says not to do something. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're gonna don't do any crack while you're in Denver. <laughs> I'm going to do all the crack in Denver, bitch. You think you know everything, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> How did you score crack in a city you had never been to? Um. I was down by where the uh, wherever the Nuggets Arena is. There's a brewery there, and I went looking for regular ass Coke. Uh -huh. And the guy's like, "I don't have soft, but I have hard." And uh, Horny. it was a gamble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was like, "All right, fine." And I bought maybe like a hundred bucks worth. And then I took it back to the hotel, and I and I smashed it up as much as I could, and I snorted it. It was not a pleasant experience, but it did do the trick. 
Different okay. feeling than cocaine or relatively the same? Oh, so you snorted Wait, crack. You, yeah, you snorted crack? I snorted it the first time. I like I ended up smoking crack, I think, twice. <laughs> And uh, that was too intense. Yeah, you fooled me like once, shame on me. I'm not smoking <laughs> stuff. <again. laughs> Jesus, dude. I'm bloody nose for time. a whole month. Uh, dude, it was too much. Too much, yeah. It's, and it's, you know, thankfully it didn't take, but I did love regular ass Coke. Yeah. 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 I've heard, yeah, I've, I've heard some people say they smoke crack. That's it. It's be, it's on from then on out. It's like, well, I'm this is all I'm doing. So I'm glad you're able to get it and go, man. It was too much. Like, I was never a person, even though I only did it a couple times. Like, I would just stand where I was and just smoke crack until the crack was gone. And then be like, I'm done with this. Yeah, and then it was like, all right, until the next time rolled around, I was like, yeah. uh, you want to do it again? Yeah. But I think I I bought it, I think, three times, and I smoked it twice. But that what'd you was do with the, What'd you do with the third time? Just, like, chuck it? Boof it? <laughs> 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 no, we were at a... My buddy's house, like, uh, I got burned on buying regular Coke. And then the guy, the friend of a friend was like, well, I know a guy who can get hard. And I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> Again, <laughs> I was like, yeah, 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 there go for the grace of God. I'm narrowly avoiding getting butt falls. <laughs> <laughs> but we ended up, he, he got a bunch of it. And we stood uh, in his bedroom all night in a three-man circle just smoking crack. <laughs> I say it's the funniest drug. Y'all trying very... to get hard right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can get hard too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? <laughs> it is. The parties on like hard drugs are so funny because I'm sure it's so fun, but it's just always just like three dudes in a room just like. <sighs> oh, dude. <sighs> it was nuts, man, because eventually like his girlfriend kept trying to get him to come out of the room. She was hanging out downstairs and they were whispering the entire time, which really creeped me out. And he just would not leave. He was whisper arguing with this poor lady who apparently wanted us out of the fucking house. Yeah. That makes but sense. Like, no, I'm <laughs> yeah. smoking crack with my bros in my bedroom. Like, <laughs> like, Dude. We're standing in a circle and you got to shut the yeah. fuck up about babe. it. Babe. Yeah, Come on, babe. We talked about this. That's crazy. Dude, remember when, when we were in uh, Florida and we were at that motel, the Aileen Wernos's place? We rented her room. Uh, Aileen Wernos, uh, uh, yeah. uh, the, uh, the, the Charlize Theron the monster. monster. Yeah. Yeah. How we, was it? Uh, disgusting, and I never want to go back. <laughs> we were afraid to sit on the bed. That's how gross it was. Is it that was. where she was like living? Yes. Yeah. 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 Did you request her exact room number? Yeah, they'll uh-huh. give it to yeah. you. Yeah, we went down there, and we were filming some stuff for like our Patreon, and uh, it started to get dark. But the plan was to stay there for the night. But, dude, this motel, all the lights, as soon as sundown, all the lights in the motel turned off. Like the main office, they just all the, the rooms, the street lights, and then all of a sudden, like these dudes just roll up. These uh, uh, Mexican like zombies, guys. yeah, yeah. They and this like they set up in posts. Like this one guy sitting underneath a lamp post, like the one lamp post that's on, just blasting Mexican music from his phone. Another guy is walking by us as we're like carrying the camera equipment back to the car, just like hands behind his back, this close to us, not talking to us, just kind of looking in our van. It was getting very uh Might have been tense. another bad boy meetup, like we were just talking about. <laughs> True. Yeah, they're probably yeah. getting ready to form the circle. Yeah, you guys yeah. got hard or soft. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it was hard. <laughs> Mike gave uh, your card to the guy who owned the motel, and uh, he takes him to the room, and he, he lets Mike, he opens the door for Mike, and then he takes off his shoes and walks into the room uh, barefoot, showing Mike around the room. And then they called you, right, because of the towel? That was like missing. Oh uh, yeah, there was a pillow missing. A pillow, a pillow that we yeah. used to block the light yeah. of the window. It was just in the window. Yeah, so, so yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But Damn, uh, they called you about the pillow, bro. I guarantee that, that was a seven dollar pillow too. The most disgusting piece Everything of fabric bad. you've ever seen. Yeah, like the fact that they needed that thing so bad. It's yeah. Like, so you, you going up and ask him, like, yo, there was like a wild ass lesbian in this place like 10 years ago. Could I stay in that place? He just knows where I guess people come and do it. When I called well. initially, they changed the room number and I forget what it is now, but if you ask for it, they'll, they'll give it to you. And That's I cool. reiterated when I got there, I was like, this is the Eileen Warno's room, right? He's like, yes. Although he was pretty Indian, so I'm not sure he understood what <laughs> I was talking about. So we, we might have got a random yeah. room. And I think the, it was hers, though. It did the trick. He was not like he showed Mike the room, but his jaw was nonstop. Like the whole time he was giving, he gave Mike a tour of a room like as big as this room. Okay. So he just kept like, this is the bed. This is the dresser. That's the this first is, corner. Yeah. That's the second corner this of the room. This is the bathroom. That's the toilet. <laughs> That's the sink. Like he was like pointing everything. Yeah. Mike's like, yeah, thanks. Just, was he a crackhead, do you think? I think so. Yeah. 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 Or meth maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I think they were in on it. This and is where she kissed her friend's pussy in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, you started it toward that. Thanks for saying oh. it again. <laughs> oh, man, I think about that all the time. So, oh, my God, man, I think about her keys to pussy in the bed. 
That's so fucking truck. crazy. And then she choked this big truck driver and kissed her girlfriend's pussy. I don't even care if she looked like John C. Riley. <laughs> love is love. <laughs> oh, that's fucking sick. Yeah, how's your travels been? How have the uh, documentary and the... Oh, man. We're, we're living world. life, man. And uh, we get around. We have fun. We got to see John Wayne Gacy's old house. The house is different, but the property is still there. And it's a very creepy street. So what did Gacy do? What was Gacy again? Uh, killing young boys. Oh, so, he- dude, he ran a construction business, and he would hire all these young boys to come and work for him. And uh, he would kill them. So his crawl space was full of them. His backyard was full of them. His walls were full of them. Where was he based? Uh, Chicago, a suburb. Of, I can't remember the the name of the suburb, but it was oh, so far outside. Of it's probably easy too on a construction site to kill boys. It's like <laughs> drop some shit on them. No, for real. <laughs> Boy accidents all the time. Did OSHA, did OSHA, crack, <laughs> OSHA probably crack the case? Yeah, how was your little brother killed? It was a terrible boy accident. <laughs> yeah, 10 yeah. sheets of drywall dropped on his Don't head. Don't get me started on boys right now. I watched this documentary. My brother gave me it's the worst thing. Don't ever watch it. It's called Turned Out. It's about like uh, prison romance. Some of mm-hmm. it, it's, not all of it's by force. Some is by force, some's not. Mm-hmm. Bro, they talk about boys. How like when you're in jail, you need to get like four boys underneath you so like that you can then like trade them for stuff, and that it's it's the most fucked up. Whoa! It's you like have to have a harem like, of boys to protect your own butt, basically. No, it's just if you want to get like, rise, it's like if you like if you already have a store where you're selling stuff, uh-huh. if you can get a boy. Obviously, like they're they're like fucking their own boys. Obviously. So then it's like a powerful network because then like you can trade. If you get a boy, that's your boy. If anyone tries to fuck with your boy. That's a real powerful That's network. where the term fuck yeah. boy comes from, by the way. You have all these guys like, I'm a fuck boy. That's, your fuck boy is like Wait, your little what? boy. Oh, no. Really? Yeah. This documentary was filmed a while ago in Alabama. And it's like, yeah, my little fuck boy. Hmm. It's like, and then word comes out. And then if you're daddy, you have, there's daddies too. So like <laughs> you're the boy and daddy's the guy who's like in charge. But if your daddy gets transferred or released, all the other dudes go like, oh, there's a spare boy. Oh, Once no. they find out what you're a boy. Then you don't get promoted? <laughs> if you get boys, well, daddy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're like the bottom bitch, you can have like boys underneath you, and you can okay. start. Then you can send your boy out to go get other boys. Okay, so yeah, you can. There is, you know, it it's is a pyramid a, scheme. It's a vertical organization. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, dude, this documentary was Mary Kay. terrific. <laughs> you know, Mary Kay started <laughs> Harry A. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Kay started a nice, uh, a nice charity. It's, it's like a, it's called the Angel Tree, where there's like these oh, Christmas nice. trees where you can. Take a thing, and if you buy a gift, it sends it to a prisoner's kid. Oh, dude, that sounds like fat mom heaven. The angel tree. <laughs> <laughs> dude, fat moms love angels so much. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, the documentary is fucking nuts, dude. It goes into like the ins and outs of it, and it's like I'll bet. <laughs> 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 it's wild dude that's got to be like the harshest realization where you think you're boys with a guy in prison and you realize you're his boy his boy yeah, yeah exactly and no they're all about the friendship and the documentary like yo mm-hmm. it's like i mean sex aside we're like a family mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's a weird analogy that's a, that's a weird yeah, he fucks your butt then he's like clean your room <laughs> take out the trash it's like no. treat me great yeah. Yeah. you get like, all the cigs you want <laughs> so they're for real like yeah, yeah i think that's oh, like dude you, you, you have cigarette sales and then mm. the next thing is oh, boys. You, you better believe it's power. he said it's a power thing he's yeah. like bro i couldn't get enough if i'm getting my butt fucked i'm gonna have my mouth filled with cigarettes like that <laughs> <laughs> no smoking campaign <laughs> <laughs> that's true i mean i guess once you get yeah you know, once you're again it's all there's totally different things some of the dudes you got taken some of the dudes were just like yeah i do owe you a lot of soup Take the ass. <laughs> so it's kind of like, yeah. it's pretty wild. I'm not going to be able to get all that soup. So. How far yeah. into cheek debt would you be willing to go? Cheek debt? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think you get your cheeks taken like over, like if you can't produce, you're done. So I wouldn't want to risk my cheeks in debt. Although, yeah. I don't know, it'd be nice to like, yeah, get like a line of credit on the house. Like, damn, that is a good interest rate. <laughs> I don't know. I Getting a cheek debt would be so scary, dude. It's just all on the line. I'm completely lost at this point. Cheap yeah. debt. So Matt's talking about going into debt because you owe soup. And I was like, all right, so if you got to pay butt for soup, like how far into debt, like how hungry do you have to be to be like, you know what, I'm going to get fucked over some Doritos. Yeah, true. I need like an infographic to take this information. In. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we set up like a payment plan? <laughs> you know, Doritos yeah, over time. Yeah, true. Is this yeah. uh, still the system of modern prison? I don't know. This, this was from this was from I don't think so, man. This was from like a long time. I mean, I don't fucking know. 
But this was from like a dirt poor county of Alabama. Yeah, that could have been so playing like, by its own rules. Yeah, no yeah. one had any no one had any cash on them, and it was just like it was just soups. I mean, coffee. now now you can have your own tablet in prison. Yeah, dude, which my, is pretty wild. My That's brother awesome. was telling me there's a subreddit, just like the prison subreddit, and there's dudes that get like the uh, like iPhones, and they just like stream from there, and like man, like, yo, we got the PS5, man, and it's just them like streaming, just live. You can like get into like real prison footage now pretty easily on the internet. Yeah, I've seen plenty stuff. of. We live from jail. It's crazy. How is that fucking possible? I don't know. You get the they're, contraband phone in. Yeah, they're more successful than I am, I think. <laughs> they're they're getting, getting more probably, views than me. They're probably yeah. killing it. <laughs> Telling them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get them, take it down. It is tattle time, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been snitching, but I think it's time to start. Yeah. Officer, there's a situ- There's a banging live stream going down. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a gun on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, I did start snitching. Uh... I tagged the FBI in somebody's tweet the other day of just a guy shooting a gun into the air in like Florida or something. And I was like, Miami Dade, at Miami Dade Police, at FBI. And uh, I did it without even like checking the replies. And there was hundreds of people that were like, at FBI, at FBI. Whoa. Yeah. Because the bullets fall be, down. Yeah, you can't somebody. be doing that. Yeah, they somebody. come back at the same terminal velocity as they I went know. up. I know. Dude, velocity bros are today. Damn. Damn. <laughs> exactly. Did you learn that in physics? Parabola. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, I, you think about that. It's all fucking cool shooting a gun in the air, but like, someone's like, yeah, they fall back down. I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. I thought they'd just go through space forever. Fuck. Maybe that's what you got shot with. You think so? Falling yeah, might not have been bullets. those kids. Yeah. God damn it. All right. I'll get it looked into. Apparently, you know what I heard? A cool factoid. You know the airplane, the uh, Alaskan airline, the door that like flew yeah. off? Mm-hmm. Apparently, someone's cell phone fell out, and then the cell phone fell and landed in someone's backyard, and they got their cell phone back. And it worked, right? Yeah. No way. Fell from fucking space, yeah. basically, and yeah. still work. Yep. Pretty cool. It speaks a lot about, was it an Apple or was it a I didn't uh, get that detail. Box. I didn't get <laughs> Was it in an otter box? That's the question. Yeah. That's the question. Dude, my lady left the phone, her phone on top of the car when we left a Phillies game a couple months ago, and when we got home, I had an alert that was like... Maggie's phone has been in an accident or something, like a car accident happened or something. And I was like, why did I just get this? Yeah. And it flew off on the highway. The location was still so perfect that we could find exactly where it was on the highway. Perfectly fine. It's what? not it's, broken. Screen wasn't cracked. It's pretty misogynistic how Apple just assumes like a fallen lady phone is just like, this fucking bitch got in a car accident. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Dude. So I was... Having a discussion with my wife recently, and I thought she hung up on me. Apparently, she just didn't know I was still talking. I think she hung up on me. <laughs> I was so mad. I was so mad. My phone was hung up on this little, like, magnetic thing. I punched my phone, and then I just, like, threw it against the side of my car. It called 911 because it thought I was in an accident. Oh. Whoa. It, yeah, dude. And then I, I don't know if it was from the slam on the side of the thing. And then I, it was, my phone was lost. Like, it was on the side, so I had to, like, reach over and get it. And by the time I did, it was too late. 911 called me back, and they were like, uh, everything all right? And I was like, yeah, I'm just pissed off, dude. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, my wife hung up on me, and I spazzed and fucking punched my phone. He was just like, all right, man, all good. He's like, all good later on. <laughs> I had been chilling, too. I had been fucking vibing before that, but I just a hang up. It was like a, fr- like a, like a hectic schedule day, and I, I, like, totally forgot I'd take my dog to the vet, and I, I boned up. She's like, you ain't where you're now. I was like... Uh, do you ever like plan your day and you just look at it like, yeah, that was impossible. Why did I even yeah. think I could do that? Yeah. No, that has not ever happened to me. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, I've done it. You got a pretty sparse schedule. <laughs> yeah. <true. laughs> Had to yeah. make out at the vet, all right? He's fine. His knee's fine. He's all right. And uh, got x rayed. He's all good. His knee was nice. fucked up. So yeah, we take yeah. him to the vet. But. It's one of those things. My my family's big into like put that fucking dog down, dude. Why even? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I swear to God, I tell people that. Dude. Yeah, people are like shocked and horrified, but I'm like, yeah, my parents call for my dog's heads. If they're like sick, they're like, kill them, dude. Yeah, I'm going through that right now. I got a 16 year old pit bull at ah, home, I would and say. right now he's wearing diapers. He's can't get up the steps. I mean, it's time. 16. I'll. My dog was six. <laughs> if my dog's 16. It has diapers. It's. Dude, you know how much yeah. it is to, like, put a dog down? It's, like, hundreds of dollars just to kill your dog. So it's just, like, uh, uh, maybe I you could choke that. him. <laughs> yeah. True. You, you're a pretty strong guy. So I, I am think a if pretty you got behind him and really yeah. Yeah. give him the give old him I fent. am legend. Buy some fent. Yeah. yeah, yeah give him drop f- a little in the bowl. Mm-hmm. No one will ever know. <laughs> no, you have it on your fingers. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> He just yeah. becomes a junkie. He does not die. Yeah. Six, <laughs> Sixteen's rough. Yeah, Dude. sixteen. Yeah, he's. My dog was six, and my dad was like, "I'd put him down." They're gonna charge one hundred and fifty dollars for medicine. <laughs> yeah, 
murder that thing. <laughs> yeah, your dog sneezes once. And it's like, oh, that's it. Take them out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they'll come to your house now. Now it's like a nice little thing. They'll Aww. come out to your house. Do they really? They'll, yeah, they'll come out to your house. Going to the vet and putting your dog down is yeah, so sad. Stinks. I did that one time. Yeah, I've done that Dog Dog's before. just laying on a metal table and I you're think, just sitting yeah. there with it. And it's just like... That's <clears> why <throat> I don't think I've done it. Because I did it twice before and it's just... It's fucking heart-wrenching. So you can yeah. have them come to your house... And they'll like lay a little spread out for them. You can give them like some last treats, and then they'll just you can like hold them the whole time. And the metal table in the vet is just depressing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just walk out. Can they come it. out like stripper cops and do it? Like just probably did somebody order. You could, a- you could probably hire some hookers too. <laughs> yeah. So when the vet lady comes out to do it, like, yeah, these are just hookers here for more. Yeah, we're having more. a little thing. Yeah. We're gonna have a little party afterwards. We're gonna let him eat peanut butter off of her pussy one last time. <laughs> <laughs> a cancered up dog just slowly licking this hooker's pussy. <laughs> Can hardly walk. <laughs> yeah, you should kill your dog for uh, sure. But I do like the idea of getting them, <laughs> getting them some fentanyl because uh, I think that's the most humane way to go for an animal. Like, yeah, really treat them and just yeah, give it coke too. So it's like, oh, it's gonna be fun. Oh, it's like, oh, yeah, it fucking goes. I'm gonna out. do so many things. It's <laughs> yeah. so all the last thing. It's like I'm gonna start a business. And it's like <laughs> <laughs> I had so many collar ideas. <laughs> all right, you guys know doggy daycare. How about doggy night care? <laughs> Oh my god, I can see in color. <laughs> and then just, yeah, it's done. Yeah. Dog nightclub would be sick. Oh my god. <laughs> just end the night with who let the dogs out every night. <laughs> oh, dude, man, dude, that's knuck if you buck for dogs. <laughs> <laughs> they, all throw, they throw their collars in the middle of the circle. Just <laughs> Yeah. Well, how have you've had that dog the whole time? Too, oh, yeah. the rest Probably since we got married. Like oh. we got it two months. We got it for the twenty dollars and like 12 cents because it was like a New Year's special. Yeah. Yeah. And Damn. he said he was three or five when we got him. So it's been. But definitely not 2012. <laughs> no way he's four. <laughs> I know a four year old dog and he's not one of them. Yeah. Damn, man. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, it sucks. And it sucks too because you know, when you're married, when your dog dies, then you have to go in a period of like three months of open relationship too. <laughs> <laughs> It's you crying every time. Like, just a parade of dogs coming in. <laughs> now we've been in an open relationship for five months and while we mourn our dog. <laughs> Have you guys known when you're ready to love again? By getting by, when one pet dies, what kind of period? I'm do you already have? thinking about my next dog. Once my dog's six, I'm like, dude, the next dog I get is going to be so <laughs> sick. <laughs> You're just drawing a dog with sunglasses and a leather jacket, <laughs> like a Poochie from The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't know. I haven't. Uh, I haven't been through. It was always like family dogs, and that you know, I was little and they would die, and we'd have one like after a couple months. Mm-hmm. But I'll be I'll be at the the helm when our dogs die, and I'm I, again I already got the dogs I want planned out, so I'm gonna pull the trigger pretty quick. <laughs> Is this the first time you're verbalizing this, or, or have you spoken openly about this? I've talked to my wife dogs? all the time. I'm like, next time I'm either getting a shepherd or an Akita. So you know, I love my dogs, but when yeah. they die, I'm gonna get new dogs because I love dogs so much. So I'm gonna be like. Damn, dude. Yeah. Do you wait for the dogs to leave the room before you start talking about this? Uh, no. Oh, I say it in front of my dog all yeah, the time. You know, about it. you know, some people Dead like her. dog walking. <laughs> <laughs> Pacing around the living room for the 4,000th time that day. Michael Bark Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'll, be, I'll be devastated when my dog's eye, I'll yeah. be sad. But yeah. I am stoked on getting like, I rescued these guys. These guys were yeah. losers. <laughs> <laughs> These dogs are losers, dude. I've never yeah. heard somebody call their dog a loser. <laughs> yeah, my dog-, dog was eating like trash in Olney, dude. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a total loser. loser. A total yeah. loser. I'm gonna get yeah. you fucking shots and a collar, dude. I think yeah, my dog was on like doggy death row back when we got him. They were like, he's been here for two years at this point. He's going down. Oh, Did so he have a bunch of puppies under him that he was using as sexual collateral? <laughs> you know, I never. I gotta ask him. <laughs> A buddy system. Yeah. That's what 101 Dalmatians is really wow. about. <laughs> Crowley didn't want to skin those dogs. She just wanted to pee them. <laughs> is it Mrs. Potts comes out with the dead one because he got fucked to death? Man. Dude. <laughs> turned out. Never mind. It's only 100 again. <laughs> they rub him out and just Potts. turn him on his side. He spits out. Big dog come. <laughs> God. God damn it. <laughs> You needed a stomach pump like Marilyn Manson. He's <laughs> <laughs> getting a little Kim tree. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, Josh, I think we're at four. We're at four, right? You have another one at four o'clock. So sorry about that. Dudes, please yeah. plug your stuff, dude. Oh, yeah. I got my new book, Delco Derpal. It is a wigger crime novel set in my beloved hometown of Delco, PA. 
uh, involves two lovable losers uh, who are mistakenly accused of their boss's murder at Halloween Adventure. And then uh, one of their dads contacts them about cashing, fraudulently cashing a check, which would enable them to hopefully get out of Delco. But if they get caught, they're fucked. And then they're also going to get pinned with the murder. Damn. So it's, yeah, baby. Wicker crime novel, Delco, Delco Dirtball. That's awesome. Get it, buddy. Yeah. You can, uh, oh, wait. You can buy it at onperks.com. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And we, yeah, we got a nice new shirt going to pop up in there soon for Little Stinkers. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, you can follow me at Jake Matera. Follow our podcast, Little Stinkers. It's so much fun. We do so much crazy shit. And uh, yeah, if you like stand up, search my name in YouTube. You'll see a fucking 45 minute set. And yeah. Put that on nice for role. anyone you don't like. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please follow me as well at, uh, at Johnny Delco on Twitter and Instagram. And I don't know if this is going to come out in time, but we are at Dallas Comedy Club this Wednesday, August 21st. And we're at Creek in the Cave Thursday, August 22nd. And we're going to be in the Bay Area in October. Yeah. So if you're it, around baby. there, we'll be at San Fran Punchline on Tuesday, October 22nd. And we'll be at Sacramento Punchline the next night on the 23rd. And nice. here's the deal. Just so you're not apprehensive, like this isn't fat girl true crime. I promise you, like this is fun. So check it out. And yeah, also, it's awesome, dude. Dude, also check out Dad Meet with uh, my homeboy Tim Butterly, the yes. funniest fucking dude on the planet. Let's man. go. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks, Thanks for having us, man. Dude, this is thank incredible, you, man. Yeah, awesome. A ton man. of fun. Rock on. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Get back to my George Washington, dude. <laughs> <laughs>